Welcome to the SAS video tutorial on working with dates part two. We've already looked at dates as in part one. We didn't really do anything with data. This time we're going to read in the auto check usage.csv data set. This is a really big data set. So read it in, but it has some good dates in it that we can play with. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a new data set here. So I'm going to call this data auto two. If I can type it today, auto two. My set that I've read it into, I've read it into the auto check data set and it's in the work directory. So I'm just going to auto check, which is in the work directory. And now what I want to do is I want to peel off information. But the first thing I should do before I do this is actually put run. And then let's look at the actual data so we can see what we're looking at. Uh, so we have a store, we have a date, we have a machine, we have a time. So here's our date. And if I click on here, I can get column attributes and if you look at the column attributes you can see that date is a yymmdd10 dot okay we talked about this format last time kind of uh we didn't talk about this one specifically but you can see it's year year month month day day and it's got 10 characters at most Okay, so this is what we're going to use. So let me close this. Now what I want to do is I want to peel off information from this date, but the column is date. Okay, so keep that in mind. Our column that we're interested in is date here. So let me close this up. I am going to uh, just pull different inf pieces of information, then we'll do something with it here real quick. So what about uh, the day of the week? So we can get this if we wanted to. So if we wanted the weekday... That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to put in here date. And this should give us a new column for weekday. I'm also going to put in here uh, the information about month. Maybe I want month. See what month it was. So I'm going to use the month function and put in date again. And don't forget the semicolon. Lots of people do that. I do that every now and then. And then maybe I want the year as well. So here we get the year, and there's a function called year. And then I can just put in the date. And I can also get other things like the day of the year if I really wanted it uh, for some reason. But I can also get the quarter. So quarter, because sometimes that's actually really good to have. And that's QTR date is the syntax for this. And let's give this a run here real quick and see what it looks like. So I'm going to run this real quick. You notice it's taking a minute because this thing I think has like 11 million rows of data so it's not a small data set so keep that in mind uh, let's look in auto 2 now and you can see I have a day I have a month I have a year and I have a quarter and if you look in here this is in January so it actually makes sense uh, and so what's important here is notice that day is not a word okay so this is an issue so in sas's terminology the day of one is sunday okay so keep that in mind so we probably should write that down in our code here uh for right now so that you keep up with it but month is what you would think it is and year is what you think it is and quarter is what you would think it is all right so um let's put some comments in here days of the week days of the week so here one equals sunday star two equals monday three equals wednesday oh no tuesday keeping you on your toes which comes first okay um four is wednesday And five is Thursday. And you can see I'm really slow at typing here, but hopefully you're typing along to get this code. So here's Friday and seven is Saturday. All right, so uh, these are the days of the week. So if I wanna interpret them as something, I need to know that it's an actual day of the week. And so if I look in there and I see two, I'm like, uh, is that a Monday? Yes, it's a Monday. Even though some people would prefer one to be Monday, uh, it is what it is. Okay, so that's what we're going to work with. Uh, this is what we have in SAS. And um, let's just do something here really, really quick. 
uh, and just to play with it and say, why did I do this? Um, so what if I did uh, some simple, simple things to it uh, where I just did a histogram or a QQ plot? So what if I did proc, what was it, univariate, you got to remember, uh, and our data is equal to auto2. Our variable that we're interested in, and uh, this data set is the time here, is uh, how long it takes somebody to go through an automated checkout system. Uh, so about two and a half minutes. Uh, so we're gonna, our variable is time, that's what we're interested in. But now that we have this, we can look to see if it's different by the weekday. So I could do by, or where, how about this, day equals one. Okay, and then I can just add here, what is it, histogram? And this should give me the picture that I'm looking for. Uh, but I do need to put a run statement and a semicolon. So let's give this a go and see how long it takes to crank this thing out. Um, it's still cranking, still cranking. Remember, there's 11 million observations here. So, ooh, okay, so we actually get a histogram here. It popped up for us and we can see it's uh, lots and lots of bars because remember there's a lot of data here um so and we'll look and see how much in just a second but notice this is right skewed the mean seems to be around three uh the peak seems to be around three and this is a nice picture uh, lots of data from this and if i come up here and look i can see how many observations there were there were if I look here, over a million observations, 1.6 million observations. So anyway, this gives you an idea why in the world would I want to do this? Well, maybe I want to look at the distribution of Monday versus Tuesday or one quarter versus another quarter. And I can look and see if there's any shifts on this by weekday. I could also do a box plot by weekday, but I'm not going to do that right now because it'll take SAS too long to process these 11 million rows. And this video is already running long. So we're already at seven minutes. So let's... Uh, cut our losses here or whatever we want to say and move on to the next video.